In late 2022, OpenAI released an app known as ChatGPT. It created a firestorm of fear and wonder with the AI community and consumers. I think through the general public, the tipping point was ChatGPT. When people were interacting with ChatGPT, they could see that, hmm, this can talk and hold a conversation and is very knowledgeable. This super conversational search, if you will, is so powerful and it was given openly to the whole public that with hundreds of millions of people doing this, that was one of the most powerful demos ever to be on the internet. Can artificial intelligence lead to extinction? It's a bit of a shock, a bit of an eye-opener. I think ChatGPT is definitely a tipping point. And I think that it surprised not just regular people who weren't deep in the technology, but even people who were exposed to the technology. The underlying technology behind ChatGPT is this large language model that's just predicting the next token. Large language models, or LLMs, are a type of artificial intelligence that combine a huge amount of data and deep learning to communicate and generate new concepts. Deep learning is where you have very large neural networks that automatically learn by themselves from a lot of data. That's what's driving a lot of the current technologies like ChatGPT or these image generation ones. These large language models are trained to predict the next word given context. They take all the sentences that you see out on the web. Now given a sentence of, let's say, five words, this results in five different prediction tasks. Fundamentally, it's actually not that surprising that accurate prediction of a next word results in models that seem intelligent. I think what surprised people was that this actually happened. ChatGPT was a giant leap forward, capable of creating original material. You can give it a straightforward prompt and it can write you a play. It can generate material in a way that it couldn't do before. It is this generative AI that sent shockwaves through the tech sector. Experiencing ChatGPT was a transformative moment. AI researchers have conquered one of the big outstanding problems in AI research, which is to be able to replicate human reasoning abilities. And in Hollywood, human creators are striking for fear that AIs will replace them. ChatGBT is a robotic type of system. It doesn't really write great stories. I just asked AI right now to write a stand-up comedy monologue, and this is what we'll look and sound like if we're not careful. This is why we're striking. I have to ask, does anyone else hate small talk as much as I do? It's like, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Why even bother? And don't even get me started on airline food. <laughs> it's really what it says. The data may seem human-like, but it is repurposed. Every part of human knowledge that has a digital form has been obtained by the trainers of this algorithm, supervised presumably almost entirely by humans. So that combination has turned out to be remarkably potent. These things are on the internet already. The language is already out there. It mined it, it found it, and then you uh, asked queries until those examples are presented to you. It simply is behaving according to algorithms that we give it. But of course, it doesn't actually have any feelings or thinking. There's nobody there. It's not alive. However, to some, it appears ChatGPT has developed reasoning abilities that were not programmed into the app. In the last few years, as I've interacted with technology like ChatGPT, I've been profoundly disturbed by what I've seen. It can solve very complex problems involving reasoning. We've created something that is hard in some situations to distinguish from human level intelligence. I warned you guys in 1984, but you didn't listen. James Cameron tried to warn us of a futuristic Armageddon where Terminators ruled over humans. I think the weaponization of AI is the biggest danger. I think that we will get into the equivalent of a nuclear arms race with AI. 
And if we don't build it, the other guys are for sure not build it. I believe that products like ChatGPT are one of the early steps on the path to creating an artificial form of life that has cognition, has awareness of the world, has goals. I'd say that's the most disturbing feature of artificial intelligence and is the direction that the technology is going.